Hi everyone, my name is Johnny Rosecrans and I work at Cal Poly in the Horticulture and Crop Science Department. We have over 110 acres of ag land, 80 of which are orchard crops. We have a unique mix of citrus and avocado varieties, stone and pome fruit, and next year we plan to plant nut crops as well. My main responsibility is to oversee the day-to-day -day operations around the farm with my focus being on orchard crops, which is why I'm here today because I was asked to talk about berming. And since we recently replanted this three and a half acres of avocados on berms, here I am today virtually to show you how we accomplished this. So a little bit of backstory behind this block Three or four years ago, we started seeing significant decline in these trees. And upon further investigation, I did some soil sampling and sure enough, um, it was positive for Phytophthora root rot. I did some additional potholing in this block and believe it or not, 12 to 14 inches down, I found bedrock or hard pan. So this poor block was slowly starting to suffocate um, because the water couldn't move beyond that, uh, that hard pan. And so uh, even further more, I started asking around and this block was never deep ripped prior to planting. So you can kind of see the long-term effects of what happens if you don't deep rip and you're growing in uh, a hard pan layer. Um, it just turned out bad for, for this poor block. So we started having discussions with Tim Spann, with the CAC and Professor Dr. Garner, and Tim Spann offered up the idea of replanting this block um, as the fifth and northernmost uh, block for UC Riverside's root rot resistant trial. So we were all on board with that. We thought it'd be a great opportunity to do some research in this block. So um, we decided, yeah, let's pull the trigger on that. And so we all collab co collaborated together. And uh, last year we ended up planting this block as the part of that uh, root rot resistant trial. But I am not here today to talk about the trial. I was asked to talk about um, how we replanted this block with an emphasis on berming and what it took to accomplish this and the steps required to do so. So let's take a look at how we accomplished this. And just a quick disclaimer, I unfortunately didn't capture video or pictures of the entire process start to finish of this planting and berming and all that. So some of the videos and or pictures that I show in this presentation are from other projects, but I'm using them because it's the same equipment that, you, that we use. And so that'll give you the gist of, uh, of how we got things accomplished. The first step was an obvious one. We had to remove the existing trees before any of the land prep could begin. This was accomplished by using a D8 dozer, which allowed for quick work by pushing over each tree. The trees were then ground up using this excavator with a thumb attachment, and this massive horizontal grinder made quick work of things. Within hours, our poor orchard was nothing but wood chips. After spreading the wood chips around the field as best we could, it was then time to deep rip. Using the same D8 bulldozer with a four foot shank on the rear, the entire three and a half acres was ripped. The field was ripped lengthwise and then cross cut at a 45 degree angle. And remember this block had a hard pan layer 12 to 14 inches down in areas. So deep ripping this block was crucial to breaking up that layer. Our next task was to break up the larger clods of soil created by the ripping process and smooth out the soil, so we decided to make several passes with the disc. It was finally time to start the berming process. We used a lister bar with two plows set at 20 feet apart to mark lines where each berm would be created. This tractor was outfitted with a GPS unit to keep the lines perfectly straight. Unlike the previous planting that was bermed cutting across the slope or horizontal to the downward slope of the hill, we decided for this planting 
we would berm the block parallel with the slope to promote a faster draining environment. Once the lines were cut, the real work began. A D6 cat with a six-way blade slowly started pushing soil into rows. After several passes on each side, the long lines of soil started to resemble berms. For the final and finishing touches, we used a motor grater to flatten the tops of each berm and a pole scraper to smooth out the drive rows. We were pretty happy with how the berms turned out and we ended up planting this block in June of 2020. Here are some of the photos. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the presentation on how we replanted this block with the emphasis on berming. Again, my name is Johnny Rosecrans. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.